NRL football development team are doing in regards to the the kids' holiday program, the holiday blast, and uh, if you're wanting to get involved with that, um, contact the Auckland Rugby League through the website as the summer program will be coming up, and they'll be looking to do that live. As we get ready now for the second half here for the live league match of the day at the Auckland Rugby League, sponsored by the SAS Fox Memorial, North Coast Tigers getting ready to kick off. And the whistle's blown, and away we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, Papakura Sea Eagles, sponsored by Manaya Homes, into their first set in the second half. Corey's back with us now, live in the uh, the RL studios, the plush studios that we have that roll around the um, the Auckland Rugby League region. Yeah, and back into the action, Keanu Dawson with another carry off the back, changed the game when he came on. <coughs> Complimenting some of the good work done from the starters. For the Seagulls now, as we see a break and a little bit of second phase, so expensive stuff in the early exchanges here. Sheldon Rogers into dummy half, but he's taken a knock here. I think it might be Nick Worthington, it is. So he's taken a hit there and down on the ground, so he will get a bit of attention. The clock stops less than a minute into the second half here. And if you did miss it at half time, we had a fantastic presentation to the Bell Cancer Awareness Association, the club, the Papakura Sea Eagles, handing over a check for. $3,000. Significant because it's obviously not a government funded organisation and it's a problem that affects a number of New Zealanders and particularly among our women we have some of the highest rates in the OECD and also with the men as well so an awesome initiative from the Papakura Sea Eagles to support Bell Cancer Association and hand over a cheque for $3,000 at half time so we are about to get back underway here Big thanks to all the referees. If you want to become a referee, go to their website, www.arlrefs.co.nz. Be a sport, support. So Ika Hifo gets things back underway, takes it out now, 40 metres off the line. Rogers into dummy half. Dawson, backdoor, Stowers. Olivetti now into a little bit of space. Olivetti, dummies, goes back inside. Probably smart there not to go out to his wing. They were getting pretty close to the sideline. Seagulls now come back towards the sticks. Stowers puts one up, and it's a high one. It's going to be difficult at the back, and they come through. Oh. Tully drops it, and plenty of applause from the uh, Seagulls faithful on the hill. Just just above where the camera view was there, there's a whole bunch of Papakura Seagull supporters up there having green tea, and um, they gave him a round, rousing applause as um, the ball went up, and the wind's playing a wee bit of part in it in regards to holding it up. So back-to-back -back sets coming up for the Seagulls. Great start to the second half for the home side who are trailing by four points as it stands and a dusty kick gets things back underway Dawson scoops it up and takes it forward around the legs Vitani Abur Daniel's involved as well now out towards the left Ika Hifo another good carry from this guy certainly my man of the match from Papakura through the first half boy he's been influential he's been strong in the uh, wrestle too eh? he's, he stood up right he's trying to bat them all off Another strong carry. So the Seagulls now, it would be an ideal start if they could get some early points in this one. They were dominated for the first quarter, but the final 20 minutes of the half was all about them. They played some great footy to finish the match, or finish the half, I should say, the Papakura Seagulls. Dawson with another carry. Rogers directing a little bit of traffic now. Turns back inside. Iko Hifo is going to go very close here. Just short of the line. They get there in numbers. Do the Tigers? Echo Marlon involved. Roger scoops it out. Now, Stowers. Dummies. Probably a shepherd there. A little bit lucky to get away with it. It's not going to matter because it's last tackle and it's handover. So good defense, North Coast Tigers. Probably not what they wanted at the end of the set. And a big shout out to Burnside Bros. Uh, another major sponsor of the uh, Papakura Sea Eagles. And thank them for their support. Here come the Tigers now, grinding it outside their cage. I thought I'd throw in the cage today again, Corey. And uh, for those that don't know, uh, YouTube something and um, something may pop up. <laughs> oh, great offload. Yeah, nice second phase there, and they're into the clear here. Excellent carry forward from the big number 15, Suwani Louie. Takes them up towards halfway, so the second phase starting to come into it a little bit here. Xavier Rice shifts it out towards the left. Here come the Tigers. Grimacing in a little bit of pain there was Cole Walker, but he's back up to his feet. Okay, looks like he might have taken a bit of an ankle knock now. 
Ikamalu dabs one over the top. The chase is excellent from Morgan to Morty Cook. Whoa. Ball is loose. So, I'm not, oh, we're going to have to wait for confirmation on that one. It's going to be a knock on in the end. Boy, that would have been a fantastic try. A great chase down the left by Morgan to Morty Cook, but no time to dwell on it because the Seagulls are in a hurry to get back underway. And here we go. Still looking to shift it to the left-hand side here. So the Seagulls now working it out from their half. Rogers comes out towards the left. A little bit of footwork there from Olivetti. Peter, our man of the tournament from the Sports Safe ARL Auckland Nines in the inaugural year. I think back in 2014 or 2015. Second phase again, a key there, but there's a little bobble in the play of the ball, and North Coat are going to get the ball back. So, expansive start to the second half, Troy, but a few sort of sloppy errors which the coaching staff won't be happy with. But good to see both teams prepare to chance around a little bit, yeah, play a little bit of footy. Gone up and down the field a couple of times here already, and um, to be expected. North Coat coming off the back of some good wins and building momentum this year, coming in strong. And uh, the defending champions, you know, sort of trying to find their groove. And even though, you know, they've lost a couple of key players, it's um, now time for the rest of their senior, senior leadership group to stand up and to be counted. So the Tigers now get things back underway. Afu out to the left. Rice puts on a little step, goes up over halfway. Huller involved in the tackle. Malu now into dummy half. Big strong lad. Louis gets the quick play of the ball. Afu. McIntyre. Back in field to Harrison Sutton, the former Richmond Bulldog. Yeah, McIntyre's trying to find the path and where he was running there. And just um, hit the line as hard as he could. So they work the left edge. Now the North Coast Tigers. Five minutes gone, or six minutes gone, I should say, in the second half of the SAS Fox Memorial Premiership Clash at Prince Edward Park. And now Northcote are going to look for a little bit of spin to the right. And on that occasion, the execution just a little bit off. And the Seagulls breathe a sigh of relief. So they will pack down a scrum about 20 metres off the line. It will, be, it will be a play the ball. Sorry. That is a fresh breeze coming down. Um, if you're watching this live stream, it's going from right to left. And um, it's just funneling down here at the moment. So if you are down here, bring a puffer jacket. <laughs> bring it over to me, please, because I'm freezing. <laughs> bring a hot chocolate with you, because it is pretty cold here in the commentary box. But on the field, back to it we go. And Tassessi takes it up. Ragdolled eventually. Rogers hands it off. Back in field we go. Oh, Good legs tackle. tackle. You don't see too many of them these days with such an emphasis on the wrestle. Wasi shifts right, Francis Totu. Big shout out to all the ball boys here today too from the Papakura Sea Eagles through to the North Coast Tigers. Great work young fellas and to all the volunteers who help bring the game to you each and every weekend. Footy there goes on a bit of a destroying run, palms off a few, Wasi puts a kick up but it's claimed easily by Waterson. They haven't always ended their sets on the most positive note here, the Papakura Sea Eagles. And that one there, probably not the intended target in terms of an uncontested catch for Waterson. But a good chase from the Sea Eagles. Olivetti on that occasion involved. And field they come to Motti Cook. Dawson digging the shoulder in. Plenty Slowing of talk going on. From, too, eh? They're um, yeah. trying to control the ruck speed. Plenty of talk going on from both teams in terms of their tackle tech and also the line speed. Speaking of speed, College Rugby League kicking off next Wednesday. All the young guns will be out and, about, out and about, and we'll be bringing that as the live stream to you by the Auckland Rugby League, aucklandleague.co.nz. So we see a knock-on there, which should have a North Coast scrum pack down, and Troy really looking forward to getting back into the college footy. It was obviously where the live streaming initiative started a few years ago, and we have seen a number of those boys kind of progress through to now be playing under-20s football, some of them even higher levels. True. And I look back to where we started, and here we are today, inside a marquee tent. 
And just on that, I believe we are going to have our latest Auckland NRL player tonight. Uh, Ross Ueli's young fella, Braden, is going to uh, make his NRL debut for the North Queensland Cowboys. So a big shout out to the family. Well I'm done. sure we'll be looking forward to that one. We only filmed him last year at Avondale College, I believe. I think that might have been the younger brother who's also over there as well. So uh, it's good to see those boys going really well over there and another Auckland player coming through the system and onto the elite levels in the meantime. Well, I've, um, we caught up with Ross Ueli only last week and the inside tip is I believe those boys are both off to the Cronulla Sharks of where Kurt Sorensen is. And somewhere a player agent is pulling his hair out right now. You've probably just let the cat out of the bag in terms of a signing deal going on. So don't take our word for that one. In the meantime, back to this game, which is starting to kind of find its feet a little bit in the second half. The speed's starting to increase. North Cape building a bit of pressure here. Oh, oh great line speed. Line speed. Them, though. Peter Olivetti put in all the pressure on there. McIntyre did well to hold on to it, spun out of it. Set heavy out towards the right here. Tomoti Cook in at first receiver. Dinks a little kick in over the top. Not much on. It's batted down. Loose ball. Looking for a little bit of second phase. They keep it alive here. Hot potato stuff from the North Coast Tigers. Again. Waterson. Yep. Bombs out towards the sure. left. It's bounced again. Ball still loose. Here we go. Left side. Malu. Big shift over the top. Good scramble from Papakura to contain it. And that's where the play will end. And believe it or not, They've either got six again or that wasn't last tackle. I'm not too no, sure. There it was. The wind's playing havoc, eh? It's holding the ball up. It's not going forward any. It's just staying up in the air and yeah. bobbling back. So the Tigers now... Looking to get shape. Set up for another raid on this line. Malu comes back inside to Louie. Palms, the first one off, just about goes right over. Bit of danger out here on the right. Taylor Daniels is out in the centres. Yeah, they are set heavy up to the right. And here they come now. Sutton... Sutton still, still going. going, just short here. Papakura, good defence from the Seagulls, getting there in numbers. McIntyre goes back door, finds Tomoti Cook, footwork, hands it off again. McBurney, ball out the back. Waterson now heads in, so plenty of offloads in this second half. Good D by the Manaya Homes, Papakura Seagulls. They're scrambling well on the line. Yeah, absolutely. Really good attention to detail in their work as McIntyre steps one. Ball loose, well cleaned up, and he's into a little bit of space here. Is Evan Hunt. Eventually taken down, Awasi comes into dummy half. Dawson with a good carry. Met head on there by Harrison Sutton. Francis Totu, former Mangari East player, another one coming through around those higher kind of levels with the Warriors. Yeah, Good second effort off. there from Hala. Goes up over halfway. Rogers, he's played big minutes today, has little number nine. Great little dummy. He's still going, the big boy. So great carry here. And they're still going. So that is great work from Donovan Briggs for the Seagulls. Yeah, just couldn't be tackled. The little fellow there ran right into Donovan's <laughs> huge quad. And um, I'm still feeling that. And play that's going to be the call, I think, on that one. So I think we've got six again. Willie Stowers letting the team know. So they'll get back into it now. End-to-end -end stuff here at Prince Edward Park. And the Seagulls with a great chance to draw even here. Rogers darts initially, hands it off to Keanu Dawson. In fact, it's oh. big Wheeler Ayalupo, and he's going to have gone very close here as the big fella. Looking up at the referee. We do mistake there. The uh, mistake on identity did look a little bit like Keanu Dawson at first. Obviously, the 10 and the 16 jerseys. Now both big units, but Wheelie Lupo going very close. Held up. Rogers, dummy half to Sessi. There's a couple of big units just getting pulled here and there. They pulled both triggers. This is where the pack really starts to come into it here, and they do probably have the size advantage. The Papakura Seagulls, Rogers now, Ooh. dummies. Finds Stowers, Wasi, nice little inside play there to Hunt. Nothing forthcoming. Wasi, quick play of the ball. That's looking both running. ways. Going to go back and play it there, just trying to steal a little extra meter as the trainer appears into our shot in the background. Stowers dribbles a little kick through. It's intercepted though, and now we've got a foot race on out here on this left edge. Can't quite catch the number of the North Coast player. He is going to go all the way 
and score, and I think it is, it is Cole Walker who is gonna run it in about 90 meters after the ball spilt loose. Willie Stowers attempted the little kick in behind, scooped up by Walker who goes the distance, takes it to the house, and scores under the post to extend the North Coast Tigers lead. That's a little heartbreaker that one, Corey, and there we are on the action replay and striding out very, very well there. By the time he got up to the halfway mark, he was just basically coasting all the way through. And I think the Papakura Sea Eagles just let him go. Um, he's having a look back there. He's got no one around him. And um, when you're out in this open sort of area, this is a, this is a great time to be talking to the slow motion when you're back at the bar <laughs> with the boys and going, well, a few green teas for me, gentlemen. Look at how attractive I am as I go through untouched, alone, underneath the crossbars. And um, to the Papakura Sea Eagle boys, that's probably a heartbreaker in regards to going that distance against the grain of play. And it'll be interesting now to see what the um, the Sea Eagles do now. They're down inside their uh, goal having a wee bit of a chat because right up until then, it was all them putting the pressure on down the other side, Corey. Yeah, that's right. And it was just a little kick from Willie Stowers, which I think took an initial deflection. And from there, Walker had the presence of mind to pick it up. There was no one back. Obviously, the fullbacks come into the line to help with attacking there. We saw it with the Warriors last week on a uh, an ill-fated last play with a few minutes to go. And uh, Javid Bowen on that occasion went the distance and a uh, similar one there. No one back, and Walker, well, I don't think he would have been caught anyway. As they add the extras, and it is the North City reinforcement, North Coast Tigers 22, Manaya Holmes, Papakura Sea Eagles 12. Big shout-out to the other associated sponsors too for the North Coast Tigers, Novo Technical Services, and also Burnside Bros for the Papakura Sea Eagles. Just looking, Taylor Daniels getting a little bit of attention. Looks like he's got tape on Yeah, his maybe a little cut to the face. He was clutching at his face on that defensive set a couple of minutes ago, so just wondering if he has picked up a bit of a cut there, pushing the trainer away and says, I'll be all good to go. So no visible blood or anything. So we are Great sweet kick. to go. And Wins Seagulls that one up. get us back underway. Malu fields it. And here come the North Coast Tigers again, and they've got a really good chance to... They can't I guess, be holding off, eh? They've got to get back, you know, they've got to get yeah. some energy and back into it real quick. Really good chance to make their mark on this game. And there have been periods of real dominance from this North Coat middle. <laughs> I heard somebody over the back there said, come on, Canberra Raiders. And if you're wondering about that, the lime green today is in support <laughs> of Bell Cancer. I like it. Papakura Sea Eagles out there supporting in the community, and they've done a fantastic job today raising $3,000. Well done. Malu shifts play back towards the middle. Sonko up over halfway. Leaves one on the ground. He's going to get a quick play of the ball as well. Great carry there from the big fella. Who will be asked to go back and play it from the mark. Rice into dummy half. Malu shifts out towards the left. Back inside here. So they're making good yardage again. Now the North Coast Tigers. Now they break down the left through Malu. Tully just tackled. Starting to shape up here on the right again. Look, Taylor Daniels back out here in the centres on the right-hand edge. Bit of strike power out here. They're kicking to the right side. And nicely taken at the back by Diamond Taimani. Eventually tackled by Taylor Daniels. So really good set there for the North Coast Tigers. Let's see what Seagulls can do in reply. Plenty left in this one. We know the Seagulls have got the quality to get back into oh. it. But just as I say, that is a spilt ball, and that might be crucial as Rice picks it up now. Can they hold out another set on their line here? I felt mince pain there from the coaching staff. First <laughs> tackle, and we lose the ball. Here come the Tigers again. More pressure. Malu misses him out. Taken down there. The hands of Hala. Yeah. And a little bit of extra in the play of the ball, which our referee says we're not having any of. And uh, inside the 10, the North Coast Tigers are awarded a penalty. No, I think it might have been a little, little extra effort in the play of the ball, not too sure. No, meaning inside the 10, where they are. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. yeah, no, I was with you. Not I was long with to go. It. Thank you, Corey, I'm for correcting awake. me. I'm Corey, still Corey awake. the corrector. <laughs> Corey the caller. <laughs> yes, I know. Roll your eyes, Lorraine. You brought them up. So here we go. Back to it. Malu. Rice, tackled by Tassesi. There's a lot of action out here on the right, mate. They're all shaping up to have a go. Here they come. Oh, Mrs. Pass. McIntyre, it's a sloppy one. Tomoti Cook got a hand to it. Don't know if it was knocked on. Play on is the Good call. Recovery. He might go all the way, the fullback. Nice work there. 
playing through the whistle. Vetsni Abua into dummy half. McIntyre. The Tigers now really starting to make some ground here and another penalty and it's getting to that sort of point of the game where you wonder if we may have oh, to have a sim binning. We are going to have a talking to, so we wait for confirmation on this one. Someone's going to get told off. Marching over to Willie Stowers to have a quick chat, but that was back-to-back -back penalties, almost intentionally yeah. trying to slow things down on their line, Troy. 12 points to 22, North Coast leading. Daniels with the ball in hand as it speaks, and they are going to go for the two, so probably a smart decision. Take this one out to a 12-point ball game. Means two converted tries can only get the Sea Eagles back even. So Daniels will attempt the conversion from in front of the sticks. Shouldn't have any trouble with this one. There is a bit of wind around today, but not enough to cause any drama for this one right in front of the sticks. Plenty of talk going on for the North Coast Tigers, Troy. You yep. get the feeling they're not yet fulfilled with what they've done in this game. They want to keep pushing, keep finding new levels. And uh, you interviewed um, Jeff at the, uh, at the, at the build-up of the game, the coach, head coach for the North Coast Tigers, and I dare say he'll be quite happy at this point in time in regards to the team's execution. And, um, you know, they've moved the ball around the park fairly, fairly well. And um, outside of the young fella who got the break and went the 90 metres, well, by the time he gets to the uh, club tonight, it'll be 110 metres. Um, you know, they've racked some good points up on the board. So with that, the kick goes over from Taylor Daniels, and it is the North City reinforcement, North Coat Tigers leading the Manaya Homes, Papakura Sea Eagles 12. 20 minutes remaining here at Prince Edward Park, round 16 of the SAS Fox Memorial Premiership as we count down towards the finals of the Auckland First Division. We'll be bringing you live streams for the remainder of the year leading up to the grand final. And do join us next week for the SAS College Rugby League, a clash between perennial heavyweights, Calston and St. Paul's. But that has gone out on the full and compounded the misery for the home side. And a big thanks to Bill and his team, Nicole down here at the uh, Papakura Sea Eagles who have hosted us today. Thank you very much, Nicole. The, uh, the crew here, the uh, cameraman, as well as um, number five, my uh, best mate who helps put the uh, grounds out and what have you. Very appreciative in regards to the uh, sandwiches and food. Very, very nice to have here in the chilly day. And the ball's been spilt. Yeah, ball comes out there, scooped up by Lupo, who says, I'll take that one back at you boys. So what could have been a costly error, the Papakura Sea Eagles are let off the hook for, and Rogers wants to get things back underway. So there's plenty of fight left in this old Sea Eagle, you would think. We know they've got the quality to do it, as Rogers now goes out the back door, Olivetti getting involved. Important that the outside backs come in looking for work now. Final 20 minutes of this one. Right edge they go, Wasi finds Totu, starting to find some yardage out there on the edges. And with that amount of time on the clock, Corey, you'd have to think that, you know, Papakura Sea Eagles, if they can build a bit of pressure and get some momentum happening, they've still got that amount of points in them. More than enough, yeah, yeah, absolutely. As Rogers finds Wasi playing first receiver. Briggs takes it forward. Slowing down the play the ball again. Just trying to get the uh, momentum out of the game as the attack is on. Yes, Stowers goes back door, finds Olivetti. Well tackled, though. Ika Hifo finds himself at dummy half, hands off to Stowers. And an uncharacteristic drop there from the skipper. Plenty of pats on the back for the North Coat boys. It was good line speed. But Willie Stowers on that occasion probably just had a little look up to what was next. And the ball spilling loose. It probably wasn't ideal service out of dummy half either. I think it was top of the count too, so he's probably contemplating the next move, whether it's going to be a, a grubber kick or a uh, you know, a pump and go. And here come the Tigers now, trying to grind it outside their 15. A couple of big clashes on offer in other games in the SS Fox Memorial Premiership today. None bigger than the Tiaratu Roosters meeting the Mangari East Hawks at Jack Colvin Park. That one potentially to decide who remains in the Auckland First Division and who is relegated to the Crown Loft Trucks Charmin Cup. So that is a huge one. We will try and bring you an uh, update score, on the score. Yeah, if someone's out one. there, get us a text through. If you're out and about around any of the Auckland region games that are on right now, please text us on 021-932-823. Give us an update if you would, please. Thank you very much. So the Tigers taking it up towards halfway now. Good metres on offering there from Big Eddie back on the park. Malu. <laughs> 
Puts it high and it is very high here, but it hasn't gone far. Tricky one here for the Seagulls at the back and Olivetti has spilt it. And it's just not their day so far, the Seagulls. <coughs> that one there, height, yeah, a tricky one there. It was a, a really high kick, didn't travel too far and swirling a little bit in the wind. We can see on screen there, Taylor Daniels still clutching at that face where he's got a little bit of tape. So interesting to see if he is able to finish this one. Obviously carrying some sort of injury there, but in the meantime, he is going to pack down in the scrum. McIntyre to feed. So good opportunity here for the North Coast Tigers to strike what you would think would be a killer blow at this stage. About 17 minutes remaining here at Prince Edward Park. McIntyre feeds the scrum, Xavier Rice. Tomoti Cook, dummies. Nice little work out here on the right edge. Ran out of space in the end, but a nice set play there from the Tigers. Waterson into dummy half, hands it off to his captain. Daniels takes it forward, but he's met head on and goes backwards. Tomoti Cook comes to assist to make sure there's not too many yards lost. Xavier Rice coming into dummy half as he does so often. Oh, Vettini Boa slips initially, fends one off. Ayalupo involved in the tackle as well. Rice goes left. Malu, Matthew Tafutu, our first try scorer today. He's had an excellent game. Breaking tackles for fun. Eventually gets crushed by Big Wheeler. <laughs> Cutting back into Wheeler is probably not the best thing to be doing <laughs> on a, on a Ill advised, Saturday. Ill advised. Malu dribbles a little kick through, well cleaned up by the Papakura Sea Eagles. So credit to the Seagulls. I know they've only got 12 points on the board, but their goal line defence, Troy, has been really solid. They've got their numbers, very committed to each other today. Absolutely. I think they've worked inside out, back to front, in regards to, you know, doing what they can down there, but they really need to get down the other end of the field to build some, you know, some opportunities and get some, some tries on the board. Um, they've spent a lot of the game, you know, even from the kickoff down inside their 20 -0. And a real feature, I know last week for Northcote, I think they completed maybe the last 14 sets of the game last week against Halleck. They hold on to the ball very well, and again, they've kind of starved Papakura opposition now as we see a ball spill out the back loose. McBurney picks it up. Showed a bit of strength in that. He was, um, his whole momentum was going the other way. Yeah, and he's shown a bit of niggle. No, he's got a pat <laughs> on the head. You're coming to the barbecue, son. It's hard to tell sometimes whether it's niggle or a couple of friends saying hello. Levi, of course, spent some time with the Vodafone Junior Warriors. I thought you were going to say he spent time with Strauss. No, Daniels takes it up to the 20. Ilupo finishing off the tackle here. So a good opportunity for the Tigers to further their lead. Out the back door, Malu now. Tomoti Cook, left edge. There's numbers here. Tafutu beats the initial one. The ball is out. But Just great scramble defense. Yeah, Papakura just getting there in numbers. It was hot potato stuff out there on that edge again. Good to see that young lady here from the Papakura Sea Eagles running the line today in an SAS Fox Memorial. And if you're wanting to be a referee, linesman, you know, get in touch with the Auckland Rugby League website, aucklandleague.co.nz. And um, not only can you become a referee, but they have a great social um, set up down there as well. And it's a great way to still be participating in the game. So the scrum to pack down there. Been a lot of time camped inside their uh, 10 and 20, haven't yeah, it, for the uh, Seagulls absolutely. It's been a tough old minutes. day at the office for Papakura, but still plenty of time to turn this one around. 14 minutes remaining here at Prince Edward Park. They've got the quality to do it. They just need some ball positioning in particular. Mm. They need to spend a bit of time in the attacking half there, as you see a little juggle. I think it was from Tassessi. Rogers hands it off. Good work here Strong. from... The Papakura Middles gets the ball away as well on that occasion. Oh, a good carry there, w but a dumping w tackle from Vettini Abua. I get confused wow. on that one, Corey. Maybe it's the, it's one of them is about wildlife, the other one's about wrestling. I think that one was more wildlife. That was okay. a Save crazy tackle. As Ayalupo takes it up over halfway. So here we go, Great the Seagulls now with a bit of swagger in their step. As Stella, speaking of stepping, stands up one, goes, Daniel's chasing. Taken down eventually here, so the Seagulls now really pushing, and if they can get a try here, it is game on at Prince Edward Park. Good quick play, the Bulls here. Keanu Dawson back on the field. He changed the game in the first half. Can he do the same in the second? Ika Hifo now, they've found space out here on the right edge. They've gone very close Showing through good Evan strength, Hunt. But they've got him over. And I think the call is going to be into touch. It is our referee jogging back to the mark, and it will be a scrum pack down there. Iko Malu giving him a little pat on the head. 
Great scramble from North Coast, but boy, it was exciting rugby league from the Sea Eagles. And this is what gives you hope, Troy. Once they get a roll on, they're a completely different team. You know, a couple of quick play the balls, all of a sudden they've gone 60, 70 metres, and they're just lacking a little bit of execution to finish it off. So interesting to see if they are able to come up with something in the final 12 minutes here. Yeah, and um, I hope somebody comes up with picking up my SAS sideline flag over there and putting it back together. So pack scrums down, scrum packs down, however you want to view that. <laughs> Tigers feeding, here they come. Well, there we go. So big defensive set needed here. Good, good D. Look, they're the driving Seagulls. them back. Yeah. Looks like a maul. Mauling a tiger. Uh, Lupa yeah, coming yeah. out of the line and inside the 10. And you got to feel a little bit sorry for the Seagulls. Just not going their way today. Every time Still they seem to get a roll hope. on. Contain them. They just stole a few metres there, yeah. mate. Takes I was going to say tip this. And goes for it. About 12, 12 minutes on the clock, so there's still yet more to oh. come, ladies and gentlemen. Good. Stay with us. Keanu Dawson, good contact again. He's been strong today. Rice Rush. spins it wide. Daniels, dummies, he ends off line. here on that side, eh? He hardly gets touched, uh, caught with the ball. Comes back in towards the middle. Afu takes it up towards halfway. They don't need anything too fancy here, the Tigers. Grind this one out, finish your oh. set to the right end of the park there as Wheelie Lupo up a little bit high, appeals from North Cope, but nothing forthcoming. Afu shifts out towards the left. Good contact there from Papakura. Look how strong he's acting there in the tackle down now. Out the back they go, Rice, McIntyre, dinks a little kick in over the top. They need to be a little bit careful here, they've got a broken line, do the Tigers. As the Showing big good strength breaks through there. Great work there from Tuiloma Futi. So can they get rolling again, the Papakura Sea Eagles? They've done it in little periods throughout this match. Can they sustain it? Can they get things moving? And more importantly, can they get 12 points to get themselves back in this one? 10 minutes to go here in round 16 of the SAS Fox Memorial Premiership. And we've got the North City Reinforcement. North Coat Tigers leading the Manaya Homes, Papakura Sea Eagles. 24 to 12. Willie Stow is there getting involved. Last tackle. They need something creative here. Wasi comes out, kicks over the top, but the chase is non existent from Papakura. And luckily for them, someone's been taken out off the ball, so they're going to get another use of the ball. You're saying it's um, interesting. Willie Stow is injecting himself back into the game and trying to, um, you know, turn things around. I think Olivetti's had a strong game too out here in the uh, backs. Referee's having a conversation, though. And... So it's going to be a Papakura ball. And away we go. Nice and, uh, second phase out the back. Rogers now hands it off. Alupo. First thing that struck me about that, Corey, is they didn't kick the touch. They decided to run from this deep back. And look, I don't mind that because this gives you a little bit more room to maybe try and execute a set play. Shot. It's the Ika He's not going to need a set play. He's going to go very close to the big fella. He might have even gone all the way. But a double movement is the call, and boy. And the support from up on the hill. <laughs> oh, isn't that a killer? What a carry from the big fella. Yeah. And then just tried to get a little bit too much out of it. Comes up with the double movement. And instead of six points, North Dakota kicking for touch. And it's found the line out here on the left-hand side. And that's been a massive diffusion of a, an issue there that the Tigers were having and here they come now running it outside their 30. And they've just tended to let Northcote off the hook every time they've built a little bit of pressure they've come oh, with some sort of error that? as the ball comes loose speaking of letting people. No, I think there might have been a, a hand in the, yeah, no, in the contest. No, no, he's no say call forthcoming so they got away with that one. Yeah so a couple of um, disconnections there and passages of play. And, um, you know, only a few moments ago, we were thinking Sea Eagles are about to soar and land down there in the uh, touch line, and <laughs> just it. didn't happen. <laughs> so Sheldon Rogers locking at the scrum here, and will retrieve it. They got the back door. Shot. It's out the back. And the second phase is well and truly live here. Good scramble from Ooh. North Coat. They've come with the ball. Interesting there to see go. what the call is here. Great hit. Into touch, but I think we're going to go back. I think the tackle was completed there. So we just wait for confirmation on this one about who is going to actually have the ball at the end of this. 
I'm going to have a little chat here between the referees. And it will be a penalty to so the Seagulls. Looked like a nice little counter blow there after they were trying to strike down that left hand side. So seven and a half minutes to go in this one. It is still anyone's game. The Papakura Seagulls, as they did in the first half, finishing with a flurry. Their big fellas causing some real dramas for this North Coat team. But so far, the Tigers up to task defensively. Rogers now turns back inside. Here they come, the Seagulls. Plenty of noise coming from the hill. Rogers. Looks to Ooh. dart over Northcote. Good work. Get there in numbers. Darting into four of them. Out the back door they go. Stowers now on the ball. Spreads it wide. It's a bad pass, but Shot. it's scooped up by Ika Hefo, and it might end up very good for the home side. And it is a try, so the ball spilt loose. Broken play, and from there, Sam Ika Hefo scoops it up and goes through. Couldn't believe his luck, and here comes the action replay brought to you by the <laughs> Auckland Rugby League. And what a great run, as you said, you know, got it on the um, on the hop, I think it was a fortunate bounce, went against the grain, and um, basically from there, as he'll tell you tonight when he's standing with all the boys at the bar, I went 68 metres for that try, Corey, 68. I saw it and so did you. Kick to come, which would make it a six-point ball game. So currently it is the Papakura Sea Eagles on 16, the North Coast Tigers on 24, crucial kick here, which would make it a one-score game. The kick is over and game on, ladies and gentlemen, as Absolutely. we enter the final six minutes of the SAS Fox Memorial Premiership Clash between the North City Reinforcement, North Coast Tigers, and the Manaya Homes, Papakura Sea Eagles. They dominated the end of the first half, and it looks like they're going to do it again in the second half here, the Sea Eagles, finishing with a flurry. What is the question, Corey? What is the question? Do the North Coast Tigers try to put the accelerator down now, or do they try and close it out? We've got... Good six minutes on the clock and one try a piece. Yeah, I, I don't think Northcote can afford to kind of just try and finish their sets and, and kick any longer because the Papakura Seagulls playing with such enthusiasm through the middle. Northcote need to fight fire with fire. I think we're going to see a little sneaky drop goal get wheeled out of the closet, my friend. Early prediction with five minutes remaining here, but in the meantime, we've got some football to get through and the Papakura Seagulls, they can smell it. Six points off. Wasi gets into dummy half. They shift out towards the left. Here comes Keanu Dawson. Another good carry from the big fella. Takes them up over the 40. He's played strong all day, that man. Fetu Ika Hifo, we saw his partner in crime out on the right. Score the try earlier. Now Rogers hands it off. Ayalupo takes it forward. Everyone's starting to get engaged now. They're growing an extra leg, aren't they? There's a wee bit more keenness around the Sea Eagles camp. Little backdoor play there, around the back. Wasi puts Toto into a gap, but good legs tackled there from Malu. Boys had a good game, has the number seven for Northcote. Ika Hifo gets the kick away. It's found grass, bounces up fortuitously. Willie Stowers, ball is out the back. Loose, Rogers picks it up. They've got space out here on the left edge if they can get it there. It's come to Keanu Dawson, who heads back in the field. Fins off one, still standing. Ika Hifo out the back door. Olivetti now on the ball. Crazy stuff out here at Prince Edward Park. The ball spills loose now. Oh. And I think we're going to finish it with a North Coat ball at the end of all that. But boy, that was exhilarating. Big ups stuff. to the Novo Technical Services North Coat team as they were scrambling there and basically managed to contain that. They were under immense threat. Boy, I'll tell you what, when Willie Stowers recovered the bomb try, I thought it was over. I thought he was going to go yes, in sir. untouched under the posts and we were going to have a tied ball game. But North Coat scrambled well. And now look at the line speed from Papakura. What a game this is, and what a final three minutes we have in store now. North Coast spreading it wide, not content to get through this set and finish things off with a good kick. Malu now comes into dummy half. He'll look to calm things down, darts out, looks to his left, and a few cheap meters on offering there. They need to set up well for this last tackle here. Nervous stuff for both teams as we enter the final three minutes. It's going to turn into a cliffhanger, this one, mate. Sutton takes it up over halfway. They need a good kick to finish this one. Do the Tigers, Afu. Runs, dribbles the kick through, and that is a good kick. Very professional end to that set there from the North Coat Tigers. So the Seagulls are going to have to go 80 metres if they're going to do it. There's time for a couple more uses of the ball, you would think. Remembering that our clock is not perfectly in sync with that of the match manager. So to our knowledge, there's about two and a half minutes remaining in this one here at Prince Edward Park. Potentially less. So we keep an eye on our match manager. 
as we come to the conclusion of the game. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be having a quick wrap-up report with the captains from both sides, and Corey will be getting in touch with them fairly soon. But back to the main action now. Can the Papakura Seagulls pull out a Houdini? So here we go. The Seagull Stowers gets into dummy half. They work it forward. They're going to need a dynamic play. But for now, it's pretty one-out stuff. North Coast Tigers doing well on the defense. Here they come again. Stowers looming in support. They get the ball out the back here. A little bit of second phase. Here come the Seagulls. Wasi now on the ball. Dummies goes through, but Rice holds on for the tackle, and it was a vital tackle as well. Stowers darts down a dummy half. Last tackle coming up. Make or break time for the Papakura Seagulls. They head out the back door. The, there's big fellas there. Dawson. Dawson into a bit of space. Keanu Dawson still going. Men on his outside, but he passes oh. to the wrong team. He's tried and to tackle Le him as well. Levi McBurney says, I'll take that. What a heartbreaker. And that might be enough to kill the game off as we close out the final minute or two. Huge shot from Francis Toto. Coming out of nowhere, blindsides him with a big hit. It's exhilarating stuff here at Prince Edward Park. Hope you're excited at home. I certainly am. You certainly are, and I'm excited <laughs> just standing next to you, young fella. Okay, Malu North Coast find the ball. So North Coast, they won't want anything too flashy in this one. They don't need any second phase. Just finish the set, get to a kick, as they did in the last one there, as we have a bit of a... A freeze frame a action, of a and the play frame. will play on. Oh, it's a big hit, and, and the ball's been play, stopped. So the image has frozen for you at home, but we can tell you the Papa Kuta Seagulls are on the ball now. Gets things back underway, now takes it forward. We are back live now. Last set of the game, you would think, for the Papakura Seagulls. They find Tassesi. Tassesi tempted to get the offload away, not on this occasion. Rogers into dummy half, hands it off to Fetu Ika Hifo, takes it right up towards the sticks. Northcote get in there in numbers. This is it, do or die stuff here. Tiger Shan, much courage on the line. Rogers, Wasi, Olivetti. Beats the first one, but Walker recovers to get there. Last tackle. Here it is, the biggest play of the game for the Papakura Seagulls. It goes to the veteran, Wasi, who dinks a little kick up top. The chase is good, but it's claimed up high by Taylor Daniels, the captain, and that might do it for the North Coast Tigers. Siren goes in the background, and ladies and gentlemen, the North City reinforcement, North Coast Tigers will hold on for a fantastic 24 to 18 victory over the Manaya Homes. Papakura Seagulls and a big shout out to the Seagulls for what was a courageous effort from them. Finished both halves, the better team, but nothing to show for it in the end. They did also lose Captain Roman Hifo in game number 150 for the Seagulls. They lost him midway through the first half, which was a blow, but congratulations to the Tigers who claim another impressive sculpt and what has been a great back half of the year for the North Coast Tigers. So do stay with us. We are now going to hear from the respective captains of the two teams. But boy, what a game that was and exciting stuff right until the end. Saw Papakura pushing hard for what would have probably been an equalizing try, certainly if it wasn't from in front of the sticks, it was gonna be a tight ball game. And to be fair, the kind of game it was wouldn't have been an unfair result to see it end in a draw. But Northcote hold on for the victory in the end and what a huge victory it is for them. So we do await other results from around the SAS Fox Memorial Premiership. Keep an eye on AucklandLeague.co.nz. We will bring those to you in the next few minutes. But of course, the big one that we do have our eyes on is the clash between the Mangari East Hawks and the Tiaratu Roosters. And it looks like the Tiaratu Roosters have got up for a huge 28-6 victory over the Mangari East Hawks there which again shifts them one spot ahead of the Hawks on the ladder. It's not game over by any stretch. There's still two games in the season to go, but the Tiaratu Roosters getting up for a massive victory there. You felt if they lost that one, they've got to play, I think it's Mount Albert versus Glenora and Glenora in the back end of the season. So a huge result for the Tiaratu Roosters here. In the meantime, we are going to hear from the respective captains of both teams today. And what a game this was. Papakura Sea Eagles on a day where they were fundraising for the Bell Cancer Association of New Zealand, handed over a cheque for $3,000 at half time, and rocking the green uniforms today 
to raise awareness for that as well. So we are now going to take a very short break and come back with our interviews with the captains. Thanks, Corey. And listen, they've just changed over now to um, the shaking of the end of the game here with the North Cape Tigers and the Papakura Sea Eagles. As you can see, them congratulating each other, and we're going to wait now for Corey to arrive. Get ready, Corey, as we find the captains now of the teams, and uh, we have a conversation with them. And boy, what a game that was, particularly in those closing few minutes. Papakura, they pushed hard, looking for an equaliser. But the North up to task in the end. But a fantastic game of rugby league out here at Prince Edward Park in South Auckland. So we are very shortly going to hear from Taylor Daniels from the North Coast Tigers. And also Willie Stowers from the Sea Eagles. So this one, what it does it give North Coast a sniff of is jumping over Papakura on the table end of it on a fifth place finish. Would be a fantastic result for them. To In and around the top four. So we are now going to hear from Taylor Daniels, the captain of the North Coast Tigers. And Taylor, a pretty exciting finish in the end there, mate. What was going through your mind? Kind of three minutes. But they just keep the effort up. Um, you know, we kind of made it hard, pretty hard for us. A lot of errors. And just not wrapping the ball up when when they when they're defending, but um, yeah, just happy with the result. Um, it was a tough one. You sort of dominated the opening 20 minutes of both halves, and then probably, probably went away a little bit. A second, second, did you kind of find, find a reason, reason for that? that? Oh, oh no, I just kind of just popped off. But, um, no, I don't know the reason for it, but um, I'm happy the boys. You know, we still stuck, stuck in there. In there eh? uh, we dropped off a little bit, but we didn't drop off completely. We kept it up right to the 80th minute. You obviously had the fantastic victory last week against Howard. Was this just the kind of performance you wanted to maintain that momentum? Yeah, it was another good, another good win last week and um, bring it on this week. Um, that's just been our aim in the second round. Um, um, just, just keep it game by game. Um, don't worry too much about what's the, what's the week after and stuff. Just, just take it game by game. I see pleased with the way you played boys. Platform today and it allowed the likes of Eko Malu and uh, Morgan Tomoti Cook to kind of weave a bit of magic on the end of it. Yeah, um, take my hat off to our middles, eh? Our middles were solid, solid today. Um, they're a big pack, uh, the Kura boys, but um, our boys, our boys stood up to them, and um, you know it showed out there. So you're nursing a bit of a duct tape during the game. There's a bit of claret there now, mate. Uh, what happened there? Uh, just a little bit of a clash last week, and it just opened up again. Yeah, not too, mate, not too bad. Yeah. Awesome. Hey Taylor, congratulations on the victory, and uh, all the best for next week as we climb into the final uh, two weeks of the season. Cheers, mate. Thanks. So a big thank you to Taylor for joining us, and we are now going to be joined by Willie Stowers from the Papakura Sea Eagles. And interesting to hear Taylor talking about the influence of the middle pack there, in particular the start to the first and second half, really good, got a roll on, and uh, from there the little fellas able to weave their mat. So we are now joined by Eagles, and uh, Willie, I guess a tough one to take really. You're pushing hard at the end there for an equaliser, but uh, the execution maybe just a little bit off today. Yeah, you're right about the execution. You know, we we get we get down to um, our try line, and um, you know we, we sort of we make mistakes, and um, we turn the ball over every time we do. But um, the boys, you know, when we do have our chances, man, we do They'd pull it off too. So you know, big reps to Norco. You know, they played really well today. With the execution, what do you put it down to? Is it just timing, or you know, combinations still haven't gelled? Um, I guess when you. are I guess it's just a number of things, really. You know, it is timing, and then you know, you have players that are coming in who sort of haven't been at training because they're with the twenties and stuff like that. So the jelling point, yeah, that's another one that um, we've got to get right. But you know, there's really no excuses. You know, we all footy players, we all know how to play footy, so we should um, just we just got to get it together when we come on the field. It must take a lot of heart from the fact that probably to start, it was kind of dominated, but you really came right in the kind of back end of both halves and 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 finished the better team. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Their, their middle was really good. You know, they they really dominated the, probably the first 20 minutes of the game or the first half, and then also the, um, the also the second half. You know, I think that that's where they really got us. But you know, we we hung in there and we you know we showed some really good points, especially especially for our middle. So um, you know, I thought we did pretty good there. So yeah, losing Roman first part way through the first half didn't help either. Yeah, definitely. You know, he's he's a big um, asset to our team, a huge leader. Um, him. Um, getting injured in that first part, you know, sort of hurt us, but you know, we still we still sort of um, 
sort out with Alan and we um, we came back in the end there. So yeah. Just finally two more weeks left in your season. It looks like the top four probably just about out of reach now. Um, you know, what do you want to see from this team through the, the final fortnight? Uh, well, definitely we just want to um, get those last two wins in. Um, yeah, top four is probably um, sorted now, but, you know, we, we will definitely try and um, finish the season on a high. Well, thanks for joining us and all the best for the rest of your year. Yeah, cheers. Thank you. So that wraps us up from the SAS Fox Memorial Premiership Clash out here at Prince Edward Park today uh, for our feature match. And we will be back next week live from 2 p.m. on AucklandLeague.co.nz. So for now, that's us finished. And, of course, midweek. Next week, we will be joined for the SAS College Rugby League. Really looking forward to getting back to that one. Calston versus St. Paul's, so tune into that one from 4 p.m. on Wednesday. But for now, that's us, and we'll see you next week.